Today we've got the Sculpto Plus personal 3D printer. We're going to take it out of the box, set it up, and then use it. First things first, let's open up this box. So let's remove this. High performance build plate with build tack. We have some documentation. This is the user manual. This is, oh, here we go. A start guide. Now I think this is our plate here on the top. Our Sculpto 3D printer right here. We have a thing of filament, green. This may be power cords. Yes, these are our power cords with, it looks like a European plug on here, so we may need an adapter, but this end's gonna plug right into our Sculpto. Let's see what else is in the box. And we have some black filament. Now the Sculpto Plus normally includes only one packet of filament, but in ours, we received two. Okay, so we have everything out of the box. We have our Sculpto, we have our AC power, our filament. I put the base plate on as well. Uh, we have our documentation. And then additionally, we have a bonus base plate in here. This is the glass base plate, which provides a lot of benefits. One of them is in aiding. When you go to remove your project off the base plate, this will help with any deformations, um, as well as some other benefits that the glass provides. The stock base plate, it's kind of just a, a plastic plexiglass plate. So let's put the heavy duty glass piece on there. Trying to rotate it to find our holes and there we go, right there. So now that we have everything unboxed, we're gonna check out our user manual and see what the next steps are. So the first thing that we need to do is power on the Sculpto unit. I'm just gonna plug in the AC on the back then turn it on with the switch. It's lit up a little bit. When the printer LED flashes yellow, then we're ready to connect and we'll need to use the app on our iOS or Android phone to download the Sculpto app. And then with that, we can connect to the printer. Looks like we're still red right now. Just waiting for the yellow light to flash. Okay, so I think that's our flashing yellow light. So at this point, we're gonna use our, our tablet here. We're gonna download the app. Here it is. Let's get. Facebook. Since this is our first time using the Sculpto app or connecting a printer with our device, we'll have to hit new user and then create a little account. Okay. No printer connected. We'll click on connect printer. Oh, all right. So we need to set the Wi-Fi on the device to be connected to the Sculpto. So we're gonna go do that now. So we have the printer now connected to the app on our tablet. It took a little bit of time because there are some network settings that you have to look out for. And here at A-Main, our network settings are pretty secure. So for the Sculpto to connect, you need to have it on the 2.4 gigahertz network and you have to have WPA2 encryption not enabled. So after we made some adjustments, we we're able to get our Sculpto connect to our network and now we have it recognized on our tablet. So the next step that we'll need to do to set up the Sculpto is to calibrate it. So for the calibration, we need to calibrate the Z axis. We go into the to tools for the Sculpto app and then calibrate Z axis. It says, is the nozzle on your printer dirty? Now in the manual, it says, if you've never used this before, just hit no. Of course, it's not dirty if it's brand new. So we hit no. It says, wait for the printer to find its start position. Let's 
pretty quiet. Now the app is telling us to do one more thing. It says place a thin piece of paper on the build plate beneath the nozzle and manually turn the threaded rod to adjust the height of the nozzle. Move the paper back and forth until you feel a slight friction. So I better grab a piece of paper. So I'm just adjusting the rod. It's moving the whole uh, unit here up and down on our board. That feels pretty tight with the paper wedged in there. I'm gonna hit continue. It says the printer will now finish the calibration. Calibration was success. The printer is ready to print. Done. All right, now I think one of the last steps to actually get the physical hardware all ready is we just need to place our filament on the printer. So I'm just gonna cut this end off. So to add the filament, we're gonna go into the app. It says change filament. We're just gonna tap that. The nozzle gets hot, so we need to confirm your presence. It says place the four colors in the order they appear on the printer. So I say red, purple, green, red, purple, red, green. All right, now it says the, knees, the nozzle is heating up. It needs to reach 190 degrees Celsius. We're at 30 degrees. It's going over. Got 191 on there. Okay, continue. If there is filament present in the insertion hole, remove it and insert the new filament string into the hole, keep a steady pressure while you press eat filament. So I'm just gonna get this going inside of the hole here and I need to hit eat filament while I'm feeding in the filament. There it's feeding now, perfect. All right, it says you have successfully changed the filament. You can start the next print immediately or continue browsing the app. All right, so we've got the filament in there. We're done. One of the um, things that might be missing from the Sculpto is a filament holder. So one of the very first prints that we're gonna do with this 3D printer is print a holder, but we need to have a little makeshift one temporarily in the meantime. So temporarily, we have this shipping box that we're gonna use to suspend our spool so it feeds freely. It's really easy to do and make if you need to, just put a rod through a box and suspend it for movement. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. So now that that is done, there is one last thing that we need to do before we can actually start printing, and that is to make an account at Thingiverse. So on our app, we're just gonna go back to the main home screen here, and we're going to create a login for Thingiverse. We have our Thingiverse account created. The last thing we need to do is to allow it permission to access the Sculpto app. So we're gonna agree and authorize that app. Open in Sculpto, open. And voila, we now have access to all of uh, their 3D printer plans here at our fingertips that we can select and print right on the Sculpto. So let me search for spool really quick. So like I mentioned, the first thing we're gonna print is a filament holder. We found one right here just by searching in Thingiverse. There are quite a few different filament holders. This one requires two parts. To start the printing, we're just gonna hit print on the app. And then I think it's gonna ask us one more thing, our quality settings. So if we put it on the fast quality, it says 11 hours and nine minutes with a weight of 170 five grams for our part. Normal is 13 hours and the finest quality setting for the print 
would be 20 hours and 51 minutes at 170 grams. So it'd actually be five grams lighter. So we're just gonna do it on normal. It's gonna take about 13 and a half hours. Start printing immediately is checked. So we're just gonna hit start. The nozzle gets hot, so we need to confirm your presence. The app is saying, so we're gonna do the little light mixture thing again. It looks like we have red green, blue, green, and that was it. Our filament has been heating up the whole time, um, or our nozzle has been heating up this whole time, and now it looks like it is ready, and it's starting according to the app. So this filament spool requires two different parts. There is the rod that goes through, and then the holder that supports the rod. So first, it's going to print the rod or the axle. It gives it an estimated two hours and 32 minutes till completion. Dude, here it goes. iOS is telling us we have a software update. We're closing that. So I see the filament and the tube is feeding ever so slowly through. It's the next day here. The Sculpto has finished printing the filament holder. So this is a two-piece project that required printing out this axle and then this main holder base. Now this was about a 14 hour project with the axle taking about two and a half hours and then this main base taking about 11 and a half hours on normal print quality. We printed a few more items with the Sculpto. We have some scale bits. This is a 12 volt battery. And then this is a fire extinguisher. We printed these on the normal. This is a little ring. So we printed this on the fi finest setting. Um, it's just fine, but it's supposed to provide the highest level of detail and it did. The layers look quite a bit better on this little ring than the other parts. But because this is so small to print on that fine setting, it did not take much time. I think it was 12 minutes in total. Now some of the prints do come off with these little tiny like spider web pieces of plastic. You can just pull those off um, and clean the burrs off of them. Now this little ring, because it was on the finest settings, didn't really have a lot of little flashing to clean up. The fire extinguisher did. It had this column coming down that just supported the nozzle on top. So when the print was finished, you can just take that off. It's garbage and then just kind of clean off the little spider webs. But the prints turned out pretty nice. The Sculpto can print a whole lot more than these little things though. It can print some pretty big projects. As you can see from this filament holder, the base printing size on the Sculpto Plus is 20 by 16 centimeters, or that's about eight by 6.3 inches. And the total print area that it can do is five liters worth when you consider the vertical height. Now for portability, you have this nice handle on the top because this is meant to be really easy to transport and take with you wherever you want. The weight is under six pounds or about 2.7 kilograms. The filament is 1.75 millimeter in diameter biodegradable PLA. You can use other types of PLA as well, but they do need to be the 1.75 biodegradable PLA. Now when this machine is running, it smells a little bit like um, uh, melted plastic, but it is not harmful. There's no toxic fumes. Um, it, it's really tolerable actually. And the machine is so quiet, you don't even really hear it. I don't know how well this mic is picking it up, but it's really just a fan in the background that is keeping it going or the noise you're hearing. The printing layer height of how high it can lay all its prints for detail and high quality is point one millimeter, so a tenth of a millimeter, which is a really fine quality if you're looking for more detailed prints. And you can also use different colors of filament, but you will need to use them one at a time. This universal spool holder here actually holds two filaments, but since the Sculpto can only allow one at a time, you do need to swap them out. Now Sculpto recommends if you have a project with multiple parts, to just print those different parts in the different colors you want. So when you put it together, it'll be multicolor. Now one thing the Sculpto Plus does not include is a spatula or like a, a putty knife 
to get your project off of this glass base plate. Now we went and picked this up, it was really cheap, it's just a plastic putty knife and it has a leading edge and it's stiff enough to really get your project off the plate. Now before we picked this up, we were using a knife which was sharp and it scratched the glass so you want to avoid that and use something that's plastic and the, pla uh, the project will just come right off of the base plate. Sometimes the project rips off of the raft which is like the initial print which is just there as a foundation or sometimes the entire thing including the raft rips off but in other case if it sticks on the glass the putty knife works really well. For project plans, the Thingiverse app has tons of projects for you to load and print right off your device. And the Thingiverse app actually integrates into the Sculpto app so you can access everything right within the Sculpto app. You can just browse through Thingiverse through all their projects, or if you have something specific in mind, you can also search and see all the results. If you wanna print your own custom project, you can also do that. You cannot design projects using the Sculpto app. That software is only for printing. You'll need to find your own design software to create your own designs. But once you do, you can load them into the Sculpto Plus and then print them, but they will need to be in the STL file format. All in all though, the Sculpto Plus is a really nice printer. It's quiet, it's lightweight, it's wireless. All the functionality is done off of your device or the web browser, and it's pretty easy to use. If you're looking for the utmost in professional 3D print quality, it's probably not for you. But if you're looking for something for youth, for school, or just to get your feet wet in 3D printing, the Sculpto Plus is a nice option. If you guys want any more information on the Sculpto Plus or anything else we talked about in this video, go ahead and check out the links down below. And if you wanna leave us a question or a comment, you can do that down below as well. My name is Brett with A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.